This is not Mr. Beast. If you're watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the link below to claim yours now. In this ad, the massively influential creator Mr. Beast appeared to be offering 10,000 viewers an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. In most cases, this would be a clear indication of a scam, but coming from Mr. Beast, it could actually be believable. TikTok said that it removed the ad within a few hours of being posted because it violated TikTok's advertising policies, but they failed to detect this in the first place. Most people will spot this deepfake, but still, some people fall for these fake advertisements. Now check this deepfake advertisement of Joe Rogan. Alpha Brain was good, but honestly, compared to Alpha Grind, it's bunk. Alpha Grind is just the next generation. And the coolest thing is that it's essentially just coffee. It tastes the exact same, except it has all of these alpha boosting ingredients that just turbocharge everything. It makes you feel like a man. In the clip, it's clear that some parts of the conversation are lifted from the podcast. The video is heavily edited and takes bits and pieces from the actual episode. The clip then also weaves what is likely completely fabricated AI deepfake audio. If you compare both the deepfakes, the most impressive part is the voice. The voice sounds very realistic and make us believe that it's the actual person talking. Recently, there was surge in deepfake voices. One of the most notable deepfake voice generator is Noise GPT. Here's Joe Rogan deepfake voice reading a tweet. They created a false conversation. We never had. We were talking about something very different. This is not actually me. I'm just an AI deepfake. Pretty crazy how realistic they can make these things nowadays. I did not actually say any of this, so don't believe everything you hear on the internet. This technology is getting nuts. We gotta be careful with this stuff, man. While editing this video, I came across this ad. 197 rupees. This was a special decision by me and my brother Tristan to provide all of our- Even YouTube is failing to detect these fake advertisements. As these ads became viral, the affected celebrities took to their social media to clarify the users and also warn them of these deepfakes. Tom Hank warned his followers about deepfake voice dental ad. Mr. Geist clarified about deepfake ad and also questioned social media about these concerns. Among all these, there is need of awareness. Awareness about whether all these technologies are threat or not. Ada is doing just that. They are creating awareness about threats and advantages of new technologies. Ega is the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot. She draws and paints using cameras in her eyes, her AI algorithms, and her robotic arm. Created in February 2019, she had her first solo show at the University of Oxford, Unsecured Futures, where her art encouraged viewers to think about our rapidly changing world. She has since traveled and exhibited work internationally, including an exhibition at the United Nations. She has spoken about the sometimes troubling impacts of new technologies at the House of Lords and at the Oxford Union. She continues to create art that challenges our notions of the artist and creativity, and her artwork stimulates discussion over new technologies and their use or misuse. Ada encourages us to think more carefully and slowly about the choices we make for our future. So I encourage follow them on their social media like YouTube, Twitter, and also their website. I have included links to their handles in description. Deepfake has a bad image in general that's because how it's used in the past and even in the present. But some companies are trying to make it useful for positive purposes. Authorized deepfakes could allow marketers to feature huge stars in ads without requiring them to actually appear on set or before cameras, bringing down costs and opening new creative possibilities. There are several companies that are trying to use deepfake for good cause and also generate revenue out of it. And Chinese companies are trying to take lead. This is a stream on China's Taobao app and she sells millions of dollars worth of products, but she is a deepfake. A company called Guiji AI built these AI-powered deepfakes for as cheap as $1,100 and they stream 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. VGA belongs to Silicon Intelligence, which is based in Nanjing. Back then, Silicon Intelligence needed 30 minutes of training videos to generate a digital clone that could speak and act like a human. The next year, it was 10 minutes, then 3, and now only one minute of video is needed. What makes it different from AI avatar services like Heijin is that Silicon Intelligence can create a clone of your model. It requires only one minute of training data from the model, and also it is cheap. 
Platforms like Taobao Duyin and Kuaishu are being filled with these deepfake streamers. Influencers on these platforms can broker massive deals in a few hours. The top names can sell more than a billion dollars worth of goods in one night and gain royalty status just like big movie stars. But at the same time, training live stream hosts, retaining them, and figuring out the technical details of broadcasting comes with a significant cost for smaller brands. It's much cheaper to automate the job. Once the avatar is generated, its mouth and body move in time with the scripted audio. While the scripts were once pre-written by humans, companies are now using large language models to generate them too. Now, all the human workers have to do is input basic information such as the name and price of the product being sold, proofread the generated script, and watch the digital influencer go live. A more advanced version of the technology can spot live comments and find matching answers in its database to answer in real time, so it looks as if the AI streamer is actively communicating with the audience. It can even adjust its marketing strategy based on the number of viewers. These generated streamers won't be able to beat the star e-commerce influencers, but they are good enough to replace mid-tier ones. So what do you think? Have you seen any deep fake ads? If so, let me know in the comment section. If you find the video informative, leave a like and also subscribe for more such contents. Thank you for watching.